large enterprises definitely ask for change management they ask such kind of services from uh, service providers like us and uh, that's why there are multiple ways you can achieve it uh, our rec- my recommendation completely will be around hey adhere to certain frameworks which is out there in the market well proven frameworks uh, like proskis atkar model atkar is all about awareness desire knowledge ability and reinforcement well laid down process our company is embarked on investing in those kind of models right uh, that kind of a framework uh, coaching people uh, how we can tackle the change can be a change a project manager cannot be a change manager yeah change manager needs a different set of mentality how how you will create the awareness how you will plan, plan for the change how do you create the desire for the change how do you imp- imp- uh, give them the knowledge of what is uh, what is in it for them uh, what is keep the how do we keep the disruption minimal when the change is happening and the ability and the reinforcement when the change happens yes the what i promised uh, if the change happens this is what is going to happen with your profile with the job profile with your uh, processes and all those things so this this can be added only if you have frameworks in place which is well known frameworks are there which uh, which can, which the company should definitely think of implementing it when they do a change management and also they should not think that hey if i want to go do a digital transformation by couple of cards uh, platforms out there implement digital platform i have done digital transformation this is not going to happen it is all about people process and technology right you have to take all these three things together change management kicks in in all these three areas and you have to have a well thought out plan uh, for you to do the change management otherwise the uh, the, the digital transformation can lead to a disaster and you will not see the ROI. we are building a uh, a track and trace application we call in certain areas wismo certain areas the track and trace is primarily uh, an application or a solution which is meant for uh, uh, tracking uh, a goods or a consignment or whichever way you want to call it as an end to end basis using digital supply chain okay and that is very very effectively for all orchestration using pega as a key system and also we are putting into aws so it's it's an interesting aspect both pega from their manufacturing industry specialists and their logistics and transportation industry specialists they are very keen to have this uh, a track and trace uh, solution and we call it as wismo internally uh, where is my order that's the expansion of it uh, they were working very collaboratively with our team to take it to the market as a joint collaborative solution between pega and uh, and versus In fact, it's one of the oldest partnership of uh, Virtusat. So it's a 360 degree partnership, so to say. On one end, we still work with them on building their product. We, in fact, we set up our, their captive center in Hyderabad in India, uh, where they want to have their own center to build. And they said, okay, Virtusat, can you help us to build? Uh, so we built it and gave it to them and still continue to build a product along with them. That's one side of the world. The other side of the world, uh we do uh, as a work as an implementation partner for any large pega program even today there are there are every organization there is startups there is accenture everybody is implementing pega but where and which point of occasions where pega will recommend which is as if there is a deep domain uh, you know uh, you know process based implementation required and that's when they will say okay go with words that's the kind of uh, confidence they have got